Hi everyone, sorry I've been so quiet on YouTube recently, I've been so busy like catching up with commissions and recording and editing Patreon content. So I thought I'd show you a little time lapse of how I draw black fur on white paper. For this video I'm going to run through the basic things to look out for and some of the main coloured pencil techniques I use to achieve realistic black animal fur. And this video is also available as a full length in-depth focus tutorial over on my Patreon where you can literally follow the drawing step by step and I'll talk a lot more like in depth about layering and each colour that I use. So the link to my Patreon is below in the video description if you're interested in something a little bit more in depth. If you just want to know some of the main key points when it comes to drawing realistic black fur with coloured pencil on white paper, then please keep watching. So materials wise, I'm using extra white hot pressed Fabriano Artistico paper and I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos and Caran d'Ache Luminance coloured pencils mainly. You always want to start working quite lightly and map out your basic shadows first within the fur and then fill in your lightest points with an even paler shade like the cold grey one or the warm grey one polychroma which are both quite neutral shades. I think with black fur it's all about starting off quite lightly and building up those layers um, squashing down the tooth of the paper each time that you add a layer until you end up with that really smooth blended finish to give the illusion of that silky soft coat um, and every time you squash down the tooth of the paper it's just going to remove that grainy texture showing underneath. There's also a lot of subtle colours in black fur which I tend to use like throughout um, if you go in straight away with the black, your drawing will probably end up looking quite flat. So you want to use the colours quite subtly like in and amongst your drawing to give that sort of illusion that the light's hitting the fur in just the right places. And that's what's going to give you that sort of realistic level of depth. Also, when considering lighting, there's always going to be a contrast, um, which means that you have to make those dark shadowy areas of fur really, really dark, like jet black even. And those lightest areas, like make them darker than you might initially think, just so that the fur sort of flows together nicely and that the contrast isn't too intense. Depending on the reference photo, there's usually a lot of like blue tones in fur. So I'll tend to use a dark indigo as sort of the undertone in the shadows and I'll use a sky blue in the highlighted areas. Um, obviously there's other subtle colours as well, like there's usually a lot of dark browns or purple shades as well. So once you've added quite a few layers and you're happy with the sort of tonal value, you can then start to add in some of those hair details with a pinpoint sharp pencil, remembering to always draw in the same direction as the fur. 
and I always tend to leave the intricate details more towards the end of the drawing, otherwise they'll end up just getting covered anyway as I keep adding more and more layers. I'd say, sort of in my opinion, the difference between the black polychromo and the black luminance pencil, I don't think there is much difference. Um, if anything, I'd say the black luminance pencil is probably a tiny bit more darker than the polychromo, but obviously it's just how you layer them and how you, you know, how heavy handed you are. But I like to include both of them to try and achieve that really jet black um, darkness in the shadows. Finally, I like to go in with my favourite white pencil of all time, which is the Caran Dash White Museum Aquarelle Pencil. And I just like to pull out some of the individual hairs to draw attention to the hair detail in and amongst the highlighted areas. And this pencil actually shows up really well over multiple layers and over dark colours as well. Um, and because it's predominantly wax based, it obviously smooths everything out as you draw in with it. I've also used the Mono Zero Elastoma Eraser as well, that's quite a mouthful. Um, the Ultra Fine 2.3 millimeters one, just to do the same thing really, to, to pull out some of those highlighted hairs as an extra bit of detail, but obviously this will remove like the top layers instead. When doing little studies like this, I actually like to use like masking tape around the edges, which you can take off at the very end and it'll just give you those really crisp, sharp lines on, on the edges. So yeah, I'd always say start off light, build up those layers and include those subtle blues and browns in and throughout your drawing and leave those intricate details until nearer the end where you can then pull out some of those highlights as well and make sure you apply a really hard pressure to get those darkest darks just don't go in too heavy handed straight away. So I hope you enjoyed this video and can take away some of the top tips when drawing realistic black fur in your own work and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.